Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Matt, here, and welcome to a brand new map movie right here on the Matt's Movies channel. And today, I will be showing you guys how to make the White Wolf using the in-game customizer. So here we go. So, the White Wolf, if you don't know, he's this Black Panther-themed character, because I thought to myself, you know, it would be really cool if I started taking characters from Lego Marvel's um, Avengers, like that game that came out a couple years ago, and make them in Lego Marvel Super Heroes 2, so that's what I'm going to do. So, so throughout the next couple of videos, I'll be making some, some of those characters, so, yeah. So that'll be pretty cool. So, I'll be, and I'm, I'm currently in the midst of, like, making Spider-Girl and a couple other characters, so, yeah. Alright, so no talking, let's get into it. So, I'm going to show you guys how to make White Wolf, which was apparently in the Black Panther DLC for that game. Like, the classic Black Panther, not the one for this game. Anyway, so let's get to it. So, first... For the head, I went with the Phantom Rider and just made it as it is. For the helmet, I did give him a helmet. I, I gave him the ears and just made it plain old white cause to, match the, the, to match the head. For the body, I went with the Phantom Rider again. Wait, man, yeah. Um, for, the, for the arms, I just went with plain old white. Same with the hands. The hands, I just made plain old white. So there we go. Then for the legs... I made them Phantom Rider again to make it look kind of like boots. And then I made the hips just plain old white as well. So there we go. Now, I did look at some gameplay of White Wolf in the game. And in the game, he had claws and he had a gun. So I gave him the gun just so that way I can, um, like, you know, I don't know, just to give him a little bit more abilities. You could give him the claws if you want to. Like, you could give him the Panther claws and then make both weapons, like white there you could do that um but i just prefer the gun i just think that'd be cool so yeah but again you can't you don't have to go with the claws you can or you don't have to go with the gun you can go with the claws i just want the gun because i think that'd be pretty cool for a change all right cool so now on to the abilities so for the abilities i gave him wall climbing crack lego walls vine cut dig and tracking vine cuts like he's using the um like he's using the claws you know, it'd be really cool if they added that in future customizers where you can have, like, two weapons at once. That would be really cool. Alright, so on tap X, I gave him fighting. Hold, I gave him a target lunge. So on tap, and then on tap B, I gave him bolts. Bolt origin from the weapon. Uh, bolt style. I went with this one. Um, I mean, um, I know a lot of people go with this, but I, but I just went with this one because it kind of looks, um, I like, I don't know, just to give it kind of like a bullet feel to it. I mean, it, it doesn't look anything like bullets, but still. Anyways, the color I went with was this one, and then bolt damage type, heat bolts. So there we go. And then I, and I gave him bolt targeting because there was nothing I gave him on here. So on ta double tap A, I just gave him double jump, and then I didn't give him a hyper jump. So there we go. Those are the abilities. Now for the passive traits. For the health icon, I went with this one down here, which is sort of like white. Uh, for the health type, I just went with standard. Voice, I went with voice 2. That one. Uh, movement speed, I just went with default, and then the target radical, I just went with this one, the black. Because unfortunately there was no, like, white ones. I mean, there was that spiny one, which was white, but that doesn't, that doesn't really work. So then I chose this one. Um, I couldn't really find a Wakanda one. If there is one in here and I'm just missing it, let me know. Is this the, no, this is stage. But if there was, there's one in here and I'm just not noticing it, just let me know in the comments below. Anyways, and then I named him White Wolf, so there we go. So, hold on, let me just quickly, get, let's quickly get to a fast travel point. There we go. So we traveled outside of Avengers Mansion like that. And here's White Wolf, and I gotta say, this is, with, um, with the character parts that are there, I think I did a pretty awesome job. He does look really good, he looks really, um, awesome. Not accurate to, like, what he looks like in LEGO Marvel's Avengers, but I'm proud of it. Um, and I'm really happy with it. So, what, and the design and everything looks really cool with the cape and the ears, so I think it works. So, the abilities we gave him was, of course, just plain old fighting, like that, so he can attack with his fists. On hold X, we, of course, gave him a targeted lunge, like that. And then on tap B, and then B, we gave him the gun ability. So he can, of course, shoot off, well, what are meant to be bullets, I guess, somewhat, here, so, yeah. So there we go. Like I guess it. That looks pretty good. And then we of course gave him the ability to target the um, to target with the bolt. So yeah. So there we go. Questionable training taking place on the mountain earlier. Cool. And then 
we just gave him plain old double jump. And then, did we give him wall climbing? Yeah, we gave him wall climbing. So we can, of course, climb walls. So yeah, that looks pretty good. So there you go. That's, um, so there you guys go have it. That is, of course, the White Wolf created in LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. That would be appreciated. Whoops. And, um, that would be appreciated, yeah. And let me know in the comment section below what other characters you want me to try to create in LEGO Marvel Super Heroes 2. Um, just like any character you want, like, I don't know, like, maybe Harry Potter, or, I don't know, something like that. Just, like, name a character, and I'll try to create him. So, yeah, so, or her. So, with that in mind, peace out, and I will see you later.